Hi, I'm John Huddleston. Thanks so much for joining us tonight. Well, the Tuscaloosa Air Show is hours away, and we've got all your coverage. Today, several members of your home team rode along with the pilots during practice runs. Our very own Lynn Brooks took to the skies over Tuscaloosa. She spent the day with Daredevil pilot Mike Wiskus. He's well known for his breathtaking acrobatics. And today, Lynn joined Wiskus in the cockpit to see what it's like to experience those acrobats firsthand. They even flew over our station in Bryant-Denny Stadium. Look at them go right there, turning flips and leaving lines of smoke in the air. Also, our very own Daniel Sparkman took to the skies today. After waiting about an hour and a half for the skies to clear up, he flew about 800 feet up in the air and over parts of the city, including downtown Tuscaloosa and Bryant-Denny Stadium. The plane was a 1940 Stearman, a classic plane originally built for use in World War II. Now, Daniel flew with a pilot and a wing walker who will be performing at the air show this weekend. Their death-defying stunts are like nothing else in the aviation world. But the story you can't see from the air may be even more amazing. WVUA reporter Victoria Sheehan continues our team coverage of the air show with their story. 22 years ago, Jane Wicker answered an ad in the newspaper that changed her life in more than one way. She, uh actually came out and she was auditioning to become a wing walker. She'd answered an ad in the paper. It said, wanted wing walker, no experience necessary, will train. And about 53 people showed up and I was one of them that showed up as well. Pilot Kirk Wicker met Jane at those very wing walker tryouts. The two got married, but it didn't last. In the sky, it's a different story. More than two decades later, that partnership flourishes in a marriage of aerobatics and wing walking. We actually got married. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, but uh, we're no longer married, but we're still working together. We have a much better working relationship. <laughs> Ironically, the relationship for this divorced couple relies heavily on trust. This 1941 biplane has a fabric cover. If you step on it in the wrong way, it could spell disaster, not only for Jane, but for her pilot as well. There's a one inch wings bar right here. That, and that's actually what I have to walk on. And I walk on the balls of my feet right where that spar crosses these ribs because it's the strongest part on the airplane. And that's the only place I can walk. Between the pilot and the wing walker, you actually have a, a chemistry between the two of you. It's a, it's a trust and a bond that you have to have because uh, you know, what each one of us is doing is affecting the other person. But for Jane, the benefits of wing walking outweigh any of its dangers. The, the biggest thing is, is to, to people to get down and see people's reaction when they go, wow, I've never seen that before. To show them something they have never seen before in their life. And like their performances in the sky, the relationship between Jane Wicker and Kirk Wicker on the ground is also one of a kind. Reporting in Tuscaloosa, Victoria Sheehan, WVA News. And Jane and her pilot communicate of certain of, of certain types of eye contact and hand signals once they're in the air. She says unlike other performers at the air show, she has the luxury of being able to watch the crowd more closely than any of the others participating in tomorrow's air show. And the Blue Angels are no strangers to the skies in Tuscaloosa. This is the third time in four years the show has come to the city. Tuscaloosa Mayor Walt Maddox says it's rare for the group of high-flying pilots to make back-to-back -back trips to a non-military city and that the sweet southern hospitality of the city is what draws them back. Maddox says an event like this is key in the growth of Tuscaloosa. When you think about what we've done in the past seven years, we have one of the best amphitheaters in the United States. We have a vibrant downtown, an amazing riverfront, and we're also hosting events like the triathlon, and now one of the largest air shows in the country. I mean, the transformation of this city in the past few years is remarkable. And events like this continue to stamp our, our mark that we're one of the best communities in the United States. Now moving to the parking for the air show, city officials say the majority of parking at the air show will be reserved for handicap or people affiliated with the show. Additional parking will be limited, but you can catch a shuttle for it to the event for free. The shuttles will run from these locations, Tuscaloosa County High School, the Kmart on Skyland, and the downtown intermodal facility. Now you can also park at the downtown city fest lot but you'll have to catch the shuttle at the intermodal facility. Shuttles will transport people from 8 a.m. till 2 p.m. and then will resume at 4 p.m. after the show. They will continue until the airport is clear. Well, it is a big night for the Tuscaloosa Amphitheater. Tonight kicks off their 2012 season. Mays featuring Frankie Beverly took the stage tonight. Mays is known for their songs like Lady of Magic and Happy Feelings. 
This is the first show since Leonard Skirin and ZZ Top took to the stage several months ago. Other exciting shows set for this year include Hank Williams Jr. on April 7th, Luke Bryan on April 13th, and Ringo Starr on July 3rd, and Merle Haggard on August 11th. While well, Alabama's unemployment rate dropped to 7.6% in February for its seventh straight month of improvement, state officials said Friday the jobless rate for the last month was two-tenths two of a percent better than the January number. Now, the state says wage and salary employment increased by, uh, by close to 14,000 positions. The gains came mainly in the leisure and hospitality industry, construction, and the professional and business service industries. In 1973, U.S. troops withdrew from Vietnam under the terms of the Treaty of Paris. Now, nearly 40 years later, the U.S. Senate declared today Welcome Home Vietnam Veterans Day. WVUA reporter Leah Knight with more on how Vietnam vets in West Alabama are being honored. Commander Walter Turner says U.S. service men and women served honorably and bravely in Vietnam, and they unfortunately arrived home to a country in political turmoil. They didn't get the, the handshake or the ticker tape parade or the, the pat on the back. Uh, actually, they got called names and they got kind of shunned by most, most of the United States. He says the veterans never received the recognition they deserve, and it's about time they received gratitude for the sacrifices they made. The day that's a long time in coming, and it should have been a long time ago, but it's something that we need to do to recognize the Vietnam veterans. Turner says that's what the open house party Saturday at Tuscaloosa's VFW Post 6022 is is all about. He says the Post wants all veterans and the general public to attend the Welcome Home Vietnam Veterans Party. It starts at noon and there will be food, games and a live performance by the Sharecroppers Band. They can come in and dance, just listen to music and uh, just relax and have a good time. Turner encourages people to come to the VFW and see what it is and what they do for the community through scholarship and community service programs. We're not just a, a, a club, we're not just a social group, we're actually a group of veterans that try to benefit the community uh, that we live in. Reporting in Tuscaloosa County, Leah Knight, WVUA News. Again, the celebration starts at noon tomorrow at the VFW Post at 7001 University Boulevard East in Cottonelle. Also, if you'd like to make a donation, you can bring it in person or email VFWPost6002 at yahoo.com for more information. Well, with no Mega Millions tickets on sale here in Alabama, people are flocking to Georgia to buy up lottery tickets. Now, a historic $640 million jackpot is up for grabs. The Mega Millions lottery is played in 42 states, plus the District of Columbia and the Virgin Islands. But it's not just the residents of those areas that is adding to the value. People from all the surrounding states are making trips to the state lines to cash in on the money-making opportunity. Even people here in Tuscaloosa are taking their chance. Everybody that I work with is going crazy. They're calling people they know in other states and trying to get tickets. I actually have a few co-workers who are getting off work, driving to the Georgia state line just so they can buy tickets. And the drawing took place at 10 o'clock tonight. If there is no winner, the jackpot will increase to an estimated $975 million.